Minna san, konnichiwa. Welcome to our kanji series, part 3. Your one stop destination to learn and master the kanji related to JLBT N5. So, in today's video, we would be continuing to learn kanji of numbers. And uh, we would cover four kanji here the kanji for 100, 1000, 10,000, and finally, we would also learn the kanji for yen. In doing this process, we would also uh, learn counting numbers from 100 to 1 lakh. We have already learned counting numbers in our earlier video from 1 to 99. If you have not watched that video, please do go watch that video. I would be leaving the link for it in the description box below. So before we continue the video, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel if you've still not done it and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it so that when we post our next video you immediately get a notification for it. So let's begin. Sore deva hajime masho. The first kanji for today is the kanji for number 100. First we will see how the kanji looks. A short video on giving you a tip on remembering the kanji. So if you look at this video, see if you tilt 100 like this and then connect 1 to 0, it looks something like this kanji. So visualize this kanji to be 1, 0, 0, put forth like that. Stroke order. There are 6 strokes to draw this kanji. Uh, which stroke to draw first, second, third? Remember the general rule for drawing any kanji? And that's uh, from top to bottom and from left to right. So the first stroke will be the topmost stroke and then that small intervening stroke. The lower part of the kanji. We will start with the left hand side line and then this line. Finally we are left with two lines. The middle line and the bottom line. Always the bottom line comes at the end. So we will draw the middle line and then followed by the bottom line. Let's watch the stroke order again so that it registers in your mind. One more time. First line, then that small line, left inside line, this one, middle line, and then finally the bottom line. Kanji readings. There is no kunyomi for this kanji. So it makes it even more simpler to remember the readings here. And there's just a single onyomi, and that is hyaku. Repeat it. Hyaku. Hi, ya combined together, it's hya. And ku sound. So the onyomi sound is hyaku. At times, you could drop the ku sound out and just read it as hya also in some context. One point I want to drive your close attention to. I told you that the onyomi for it is hyaku. Take out the first letter which is he. This is a voiceless consonant. If I have to make this into a voiced consonant, you will be adding that ten ten to it. So it becomes B. And if you add a handaktin, that is maru, then it becomes P. So this uh, hyaku could also be pronounced as byaku and pyaku in some contexts. When it comes to example words, I thought the best way of learning the kanji for 100,000 and 10,000 would be uh, combining it with learning counting for numbers also. So we will learn counting numbers starting from 100 to 900 now. 
these are the numbers which we are going to learn. The first thing we will do here is write down the things which we already know. In the sense, when it comes to counting, we tell it as 100, 200, 300, 400. So 1, 2, 3, 4. What are these called in Japanese? You already have learned, right? So let's write them down first. So Ichi, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Q. And the kanji for these numbers are as follows. We've already covered um, kanji for these numbers in our unit 1 and unit 2 of our kanji series. Let's now add the kanji for 100 to each of these words and begin reading them one by one. So the first word, 100, would be ichi plus the hyaku word, ichi hyaku. Hmm? You will read it as hyaku. It's just hyaku. Repeat it. It's not ichi hyaku, just Hyaku. 200. Ni hyaku. 300. Should be san hyaku, right? But make that hyaku into a voiced consonant, which means add a tenth end to it. And um, then this word would be read as san byaku. So the first exception I've shown here. It's san byaku. Next. Yon hyaku. Go hyaku. Skip 600 and 800 for now. 700 would be nana plus hyaku. So it would be nana hyaku. Skip 800. 900 would be q hyaku. Q hyaku. Could we go over these again? Hyaku. Ni hyaku. San byaku, yo hyaku, go hyaku, nana hyaku, and kyo hyaku. 600 and 800, the rule is the common one. 600 and 800, the rule for them is common. Drop the second sound in that, which means roku. Drop the ku sound for it, from it and add pyaku to it. So this word would become Ropyaku. Ropyaku. Try it for 800 now. Drop the chi sound and add Pyaku to it. So it will become Hapyaku. Please note, there is a small Tsu that comes between Ha and Pyaku. So there is a small pause. It will be Hapyaku. Hapyaku. Hyaku. Ni Hyaku. San byaku, yon hyaku, go hyaku, rup hyaku, nana hyaku, hap hyaku, q hyaku. Good! Next kanji is kanji for thousand. And the kanji looks like this. You could see a T hidden in this kanji. Watch this video to understand. Kanji is written with three strokes. Um, the top stroke when it comes, would you be drawing the stroke like this or like this? It should be drawn from top to bottom. So the first stroke would be drawn like this. And thereafter comes this stroke. Finally comes the vertical stroke. Watch the way the kanji is drawn again. One more time. The top stroke. Then this one. Finally the vertical stroke. When it comes to kanji readings, there is a single kunyomi sound and a single onyomi sound. The kunyomi for it is chi. 
this sound is mostly used when you're telling names of places or names of persons. But our major focus will be on the onyomi sound in this video. And the onyomi is sen. Sen. So thousand will be sen. Sen has two sounds in it. Se and n. Se if I, is a voiceless consonant. If I have to make it a voiced consonant, add the tenth into it. And um, the word will become zen. So in some places, this could also be read as zen. Learning to count numbers from 1000 to 9000. So 1000, 2000. 3,000, 4,000, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we will see what these are called in Japanese first. So the words would be Ichi, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi and Kyo. The kanji for these numbers are here. Let's now add the Sen Kanji to it and start reading these numbers one by one. The first word, just like how we read 100 as just Hyaku. Without that Ichi sound, we read it as Hyaku. Same way, 1000 would be read as Sen. Sen. In very, very few places, you could also read it as Ichi plus Sen. Ichi Sen. Mm -hmm. We will drop that Chi sound and it will be read as Is Sen. Is Sen. But for now, take it that 1000, the word is Sen. In very, very few cases. You will learn them as we go forward. Very, very few cases, it will be read as Is Sen. So Sen. Ni. Add the same to it, it becomes Nisen. Nisen. 3000. Same way as we converted Hyaku into Byaku. That is adding the tenth end to it. If you add tenth end to Sen, what, it, what will it become? Zen. So it will be San Zen. San Zen. Yon Sen. Go Sen. Rok. There is no exception here. You would read it as Rokusen. Rokusen. Nana Sen. 8000, I skip it. 9000 would be Q Sen. When it comes to 8000, the same rule as the previous one we will apply. We will drop the Chi sound from Hachi and we will read this as Hasen. Can we go over the numbers from 1000 to 9000 one more time? Sen, Nisen, San Zen, Yon Sen, Go Sen, Rok Sen, Nana Sen, Has Sen, Kyu Sen. Moving to the third kanji and that is the kanji for number 10,000. The kanji looks like this. 10,000. This is a five digit number. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Why are we talking about five digit number? Using this five digit, we will learn a tip on remembering this kanji. So, take a look at this short video now. It's a five digit number. And you will see a 5 hidden in this kanji here. Can you see that 5 here? One more time. So this kanji is drawn with with how many strokes? Three strokes. 
the topmost stroke is the first one. Now there are two strokes. Whether I draw the vertical one and then this one or this one and then this one. Mm -hmm. The stroke like this comes first and finally the vertical stroke. Watch the way the kanji is drawn in this video. One more time, the top line first and then this middle line and finally comes that vertical line. Understood? Kanji readings. There is no kunyomi sound here. There is only an onyomi sound. There's just one sound and that is man. So 10,000 the word is man. 100 kyaku. 1000 sen. And 10,000 is man. There is no point to be noted here like that um, hyaka becomes byaka, pyaka, sen becomes zen. Why you know? Man, the first letter is ma. Do you add a ten ten to it and convert it into any other sound? No, right? So there is only a single onyomi and that is man. In fact, counting numbers from uh, 10,000 to 1 lakh would be far more easier. The first thing we are going to do is 1, 2, 3, 4 till 10. We will write that down in Japanese, which will be Ichi, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Kyu, Jiu. The kanji for these numbers are as shown here. Adding the Man kanji, that is the 10,000 kanji to each of this and starting to read these numbers one by one. 10,000 would be read as Ichi Man. It's not like what we had read 100 as Hyaku, 1000 as Sen. So 10,000 should be read as Man, strictly speaking, right? But you will not read it as Man, you will tell it as Ichi man. 20,000 will be ni man. 30,000 will be saman. No exceptions here. Saman. Yo man. Go man. Roku man. Nana man. Hachi man. Kyo man. And Juman. Don't you think this is more simpler? Going over them again. Ichiman, Niman, Samman, Yoman, Goman, Rokunman, Nanaman, Hachiman, Kyoman, and Juman. Yay! We have completed counting numbers from 100 to 1 lakh. Wow! The last kanji for the Japanese currency. For Indian rupee, we call it as uh, rupee. And uh, what is the symbol for Indian rupee? Now we have a symbol, right? That Hindi letter Ra with two lines cutting across it. Same way, Japanese yen. The kanji looks like this. Unlike if you write rupees, we tell it as rupee 10,000, rupee 20,000. So we write the rupee symbol first followed by the number. But in Japanese, we write the number first and then comes the currency. That is yen. So it will be 10,000 yen, 1 lakh yen. So that's the way it's written. A short tip on remembering this kanji. Let's watch this video. this kanji, imagine that there's a bank counter and a person is sitting in that counter. Bank pays money, collects money, so money could be related to bank. How many strokes are there in drawing this kanji? There are four strokes. 
the first stroke is the left hand side stroke and then the top stroke now we are left with two strokes always the bottom stroke should complete the kanji which means the middle stroke and then finally the bottom stroke watch the way the kanji is drawn again One more time. One, two, three, and four. Kanji readings now. I will tell you the onyomi first, and that is n. That yen we read it as n. Actually, there are two meanings associated with this kanji. One I already told you yen, rupees, where. Um, in the earlier times it was in coins and coins are always round in shape so this kanji is also used to denote a round or circle and round or circle when you want to tell this meaning you will use the kunyumi sound and that is maru so there are two sounds for it one if you want to denote it as rupee that is money you will be using this sound n and circle it would be maru looking at three example words to understand the kanji readings the first uh, word you can guess the meaning because you know the kanji for 100 and you know the kanji for yen it's 100 yen the second word is 1000 yen let's read it now 100 yen would be read as hyaku en hyaku en and 1000 um, yen would be read as sen yen it's not isen yen it is sen yen finally if you want to use this to signify a circle or a round then the word would be marui marui Okay, so we are done with learning the four kanji slotted for today. It's recap time. In this video, we have covered four kanjis. Kanji relating to 100, 1000, 10,000 and finally the kanji for yen. These kanjis look like this. 100 kanji was uh, 100 turned and one connecting zero thousand there is a t hidden in this kanji ten thousand is a five digit word and you can see the letter five somewhere hidden in this kanji and finally it's a bank counter where a person is sitting and giving cash taking cash that's how you visualize the yen kanji when it comes to the readings of this kanji we will look at the onyomi followed by the kunyomi Onyomi for the kanji for 100 is, is, hyaku, byaku, and pyaku. Kunyomi. There is no kunyomi. Actually, there is one momo, but uh, not necessary for you to know now. So, you take it that there is no kunyomi itself for it. Kanji for 1000. The onyomi for it is sen. Sometimes also read as Zen. Kunyomi for it is Chi. Kanji for 10,000. The onyomi sound for it is Man. No kunyomi sound. And the kanji for Japanese currency. Onyomi sound is N. And kunyomi is Maru. But signifies circle or round. One small point I wanted to bring forth here some kanjis which we have learned so far they may look similar and you may tend to get confused in the initial parts of your learning stages look at these three kanjis and I want to know whether you're able to distinguish these kanjis the first kanji we just finished learning and that is the kanji for 10,000 man the second kanji we learned it in our uh, part 2 video and that is the kanji for 9. 
Kokono was the Kunyomi and the Unyomi was Kyuku. And the last one, this kanji is for number 5. It says the Kunyomi and the Unyomi is Go. Just to quickly revise the counting uh, from 100 to 900. Hyaku, Ni Hyaku, San Hyaku, Yon Hyaku, Go Hyaku, Rop Hyaku, Nana Hyaku, Hap Hyaku, Kyu Hyaku, counting from 1000 to 9000. Sen, Ni Sen, San Zen, Yon Sen, Go Sen, Rok Sen, Nana Sen, Has Sen, and Kyu Sen. Finally, Counting numbers from 10,000 to 1 lakh. Ichiman, Niman, Samman, Yoman, Goban, Rukuman, Nanaman, Hachiman, Kyuman, and Jiuman. So we have completed learning these four kanji and counting numbers from 100 to 1 lakh. Thank you for watching our video and do press the like button if you have found this video helpful. It will motivate me to do some more videos like this for you. So, meet you in our next video. Till then, bye-bye.